Hi y'all, so today we're looking at some Axis. These are made in Germany and the brand is Adler. As far as I know, they're relatively new to importing them to the USA, at least in masses. Um, so it's a pretty neat thing to see some new brands we can look at. They started over 100 years ago in Germany, a small blacksmith in 1919. And the small one comes with a nice little bag here. I believe all those small hatchets come with bags. Made in the USA, it smells a little bit like seaweed. Very nice little bag there. So let's take a look at some of the unique things about this. These are a lot like the Snow and Ely, um, Hudson Bay and Penobscot Axe, as in the heads are the same on both of them. The handle length is just different. So let's take a look at the Rhineland hatchet right here. The handles are made, in, uh, made out of US hickory. And the sheaths are a little unique here. The first time you deal with them, you're like, what, this thing is stuck in here, but it's because it has a double snap on the bottom to give you a nice firm fit. But that also can be a little tricky if you don't know what's going on. So nice thick leather, it looks like natural, one piece. Good snaps, it looks like. So one of the unique things about these is the handles actually have some sand or some kind of grit sort of glued into the paint which I know different people have different um, theories on whether they like that or not. In my opinion, that's nice for, you know, precision work that you're not using your axe a lot. If you use it a lot, especially at one time, it can give you a blister possibly. But um, like I said, different people have different preferences on that. So let's look at them together here. I'll get this sheet. So as you can see, head design, very, very similar. And the head weight on these is 1.35, so one and a third pounds. Let's take a look at the handle length. The handle length on the Rhineland is 14 inches, and I, I probably haven't said the name yet. This is the canoe axe. So it's a little bit, a lot of times canoe axes are a little bit decently long handle, but light heads. So they're easy to stick in your pack. Um, great camp axes a lot of times. So on the canoe axe, the handle length is 19 and a half inches. So the blade length on both of these is going to be just under four inches with the blade to the pole, just under six inches. So um, I know some of the German axes, especially with covert, have been very hard to get a hold of, very, very backlogged. So these are a nice alternative, um, you know, classic German design there. Nice heritage, been doing it for years. Um, let's take a look at the pole at the eye here. So they come with a round wedge. Let me get where the camera can see. Round wedge and you can basically see it there. It's not poking over much at all. Um, down here, they, it looks like they really pressure seated in there. You can see where the wood is split, splintering a little where it got pressure seated in. Relatively good fit on those. So we have, check it out, wisemantrading.com for their other axes as well. We really appreciate it. God bless.